Telco Credit Union customers' personal information, including social security numbers, were accessed during this summer's widespread data breach. Crown Force Michael Thomas brings us the details. About half a million Patelco Credit Union members are worried about their information being put on the dark web. I spoke with one woman who says she woke up to find that her information was on the dark web and it was all leading back to the ransomware attack that happened in June. Patelco Credit Union says on May 23rd, an unauthorized party gained access to its network, leading to a ransomware attack on June 29th. It caused thousands of members to have limited access to their money and bank accounts, and that includes Sherry. In fact, she says her information was breached. I received a notice from Credit Wise stating that they found my email address, they put the last part of my social, my date of birth, on the uh, dark web. And she's not alone. Patelco confirms that multiple members, first and last names, along with their social security numbers, driver's license numbers, dates of birth, and emails were all accessed by the attackers. In response, the credit union is apologizing for the attack, reevaluating its security practices, and offering members two free years of identity theft monitoring through Experian. But Sherry says when she tried to use that free code, well, this happened. I tried to log in yesterday. You wouldn't recognize the information they gave me as far as the confirmation so I can log in. As of now, no exact number is known on how many members were victim to the identity theft, but Sherry says she was and she's still waiting for her account to be fixed, and that includes funds that went missing. She felt this this morning as she was at the ATM. Very uncomfortable because now my, my whole information is out there, and there's nothing you can do to protect it. She goes on to say that members have put together a class action lawsuit, and as we get more details regarding that and information from Patelco, we'll keep you updated. That's the very latest reporting in the East Bay. I'm Michael Thomas. I'll send it back to you live in the studio.